definitely very encouraged and inspired by the words I've read in their mission statement on the website. So, in case you're wondering what kirtan is, I'll go ahead and explain. Okay, so kirtan is an ancient devotional singing and chanting practice from India. Um, it's a profound meditation practice and a concentration tool, um, and amazing for really tapping into your internal landscape as a spiritual being. Um, I was introduced to it myself at a yoga training center where I became an instructor, and it really has changed my life in an amazing way, and continues to do so um, the more and more I, I practice it. And that's exactly what it is. It's a, it's a practice um, which gets deeper and deeper as you go further. Um, so the shape of it will start out pretty slow um, and then it takes kind of an arch progression. We'll come to a kind of climax and we'll get faster and then eventually um, fairly suddenly drop back to the opening pace and then yeah. conclude. Um, uh, what else here? So, what we're repeating, what we're chanting, and this is a collaborative effort, this is a collaboration. Um, the tradition is that there's a leader, um, and then there's a, it's a call and response chanting. So, I will say a phrase, and it's in Sanskrit. They're fairly simple, so don't, don't be worried about getting it to sound right, or whatever, whatever that means, right? Um, and they're the names of the divine, the names of spirit, um, and certain characteristics, um, representatives of certain characteristics of the divine. And the chant that I'm going to offer is a chant to the spirit of Narayana. And uh, the translation that I most resonate with for that word, um, although there are many translations, is um, the foundation and the, uh, the shelter of the supreme being that is the foundation and the shelter of all created beings. <clears throat> and so the the words that we'll be using here are <clears> Om <throat> Shanti Om um, That's pretty much the chant and it'll go it the melody changes but um, that's pretty much it and um, as far as meanings go, like OM. OM is actually a sound that means everything. Um, everything is contained within OM. Um, it's the primordial vibration of the entire created universe. Um, but most of all, when I chant OM, and in general with this practice, um, it's a practice of entering the space of gratitude and really planting that seed and cultivating gratitude mm -hmm. and which allows us to really receive the gift that life is. Because what you appreciate, appreciates. So, um, as I said, don't worry about getting the words right, um, but I really encourage you to, to jump in um, as you feel comfortable, that makes it stronger. The more people involved, the more spirits are giving attention to it and expressing through voice, um, makes it stronger. <clears throat> so I'll just continually do it, like even though it's traditionally a call and response, I'll just continually chant. 
you can feel free to just come in every other one because it's somewhat challenging on your voice if you're just constantly going. And a good uh, warm-up exercise that I actually really love to do is to just ohm a few times um, to just really set the vibration. So feel free to join me in that. And another thing I'll add, this is the last thing, um, is really to focus on your highest ideals. And in that way you can kind of customize the practice to your own spirit and the way that you perceive spirit and the world. Um, what you're most inspired by and really focus all your attention on that as powerfully as you can. Shanti. <laughs>
Yeah. 
Thank you very much.